next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Hercules! And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, the Eraser! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world. It's going to be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's gonna try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Right hand touch the clinch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Straight punch land. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Just misses there with the left. And they separate. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. That's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice straight punch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Big body kick. Boom. Big knee lands there. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. That's a big strike right there. Nice straight right lance. Slips 
the punch. The one-two punch is true. Big kick lands. Just misses with the jab. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Real sneaky body kick. Just misses with that one. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Twenty seconds left. Ooh, what a punch! Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight. Oh, and that no. is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did. And they both found success over the course of that round. Draw step. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, man, head to land. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it's just Oh, Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And they separate. Try to establish that jab. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. He's hurt back. Three minutes to go in round two. Very 
very, very dangerous position. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Swing and a miss. Oh! Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just misses with the straight right. Got the single collar tie. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into this strike. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just missed with that right hand. Blocks the shot. Big knee land right through the opponent's midsection. Right punches there. How about that chin? Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Nice head kick. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Just unable to quite find that range. Right hand punch. So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets over. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of Whoa! striking here tonight. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just missed with the left there. Oh! Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's a nice strike. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Whiffs on that offering. No! Oh, huge right hand! Beautiful diving strike lands. Well, not good body language from his opponent here at DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Guys, really throwing with authority. 
Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice head kick. Well, you go! Oh! In this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop this contest at two minutes, four seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Hercules! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.